वेलकम टू माय वीडियो लेक्चर बेस्ड ऑन शेडेड पोल सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर दिस टॉपिक इज इंक्लूडेड इन द पेपर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक मशीन 2 पेपर 4 टीसीई 501 दिस पेपर इज बेसिकली बेस्ड ऑन मार्कआउट सिलेबस माय सेल्फ पुनम बनर्जी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट डॉक्टर सुधीर चंद्र शो डिग्री इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज in this lecture, we will learn about shaded pole single phase induction motor. In my previous lecture of single phase induction motor, we know that basically single phase induction motor are different types based on their starting means or by auxiliary windings. So, based on that, single phase induction motors are maybe two valve capacitor type motors, maybe permanent capacitor type motor, it can be capacitor start induction motor or it may be resistance start induction motor. Among those, except permanent capacitor type motor, all the motors are run with the help of auxiliary winding only at the time of starting. At the running time, those auxiliary windings are cut up when the machine reaches 70% of the speed. But in shaded pole single phase induction motor, it is totally different than all other types of single phase induction motor. This is basically different in part of its construction. Here, the motor builds itself in such a way uh, so that as per the construction of the motor, it will help to produce two phases from one single phase. That means the motor construction is made in such a way so that the phase can be splitted inside the motor due to its construction. So that part we will highlight here how the shaded pole induction motor are worked actually. And what are the changes happened in its construction and what are the benefits, what kind of applications are there in, in shaded pole motors, those things we will discuss in this topic. So this is basically last topic of single phase induction motor and we will finish this module on this lecture of today's. Okay. So, we will start with shaded pole induction motor. Shaded pole induction motor is a simple type of self-starting single phase induction motor. All the other single phase motors are not self-starting, but this motor is only become self-starting single phase induction motor only because of its construction. It consists of a stator and a cage type rotor. Okay, cage means squid and cage. The stator is made of salient poles. This pole is slotted on side and the copper ring is fitted on the smaller part A as shown in figure. This part is called shaded pole. Where it is? See this part. This is our A. This is also our A. Let me see the construction. Normally, all the motors poles are looking like just this salient one. But here, in the salient pole construction, a part is cutting out like a small square section, like this. See, it is cutted. It is just Started from a small section like this. See, this is the first section. Let me cut. It. And in this cutted portion, a shading coil is placed. A shading coil is placed in this cutted portion. A shading coil is placed here. A shading coil is placed here. So, this part is known as 
shaded pool and the ring is usually single turn coil is known as shading coil okay so this is our shaded portion and this is shading coil and what will happen if there is shading or there is shading coil that too we will learn see when single phase supply is given here it passes through this way so in this shading coil what will happen single phase supply given current is start flowing through this way then current comes here in the main pole the current is start flowing then a portion comes here and it passes in the opposite polarity and then it's closed so in this cut portion or shading coil portion there is no electrical connection so what changes will happen here definitely there will be a change the change of mutual induction when we are placing a copper coil nearby another copper coil and current is flowing through one coil a flux is produced Definitely, due to mutual induction, the nearby coil will be induced, and that phenomenon will occur in the shaded pole loop. So, let us understand the phenomenon. When an alternating current flows in the field winding, an alternating flux is produced in the field pole. A portion of this flux linked with the shading coil. Which behaves as a short circuited secondary of a transformer. A voltage is induced in the shading coil, and this voltage circulates a current in it. The induced current produces a flux called the induced flux, which opposes the main core flux. The shading coil thus causes the flux in the shaded portion A to lag behind the flux in the unshaded portion of B. At the same time, the main flux and the shaded pole flux is, are displaced in space. This space displacement is less than 90 degree since there is a time and space displacement between the two fluxes. The conditions for setting up a rotating magnetic field are produced. Under the action of the rotating flux, a starting torque is developed on the phase rotor. The direction of this rotating flux is from unshaded portion to shaded portion of the pole. In the figure, the direction of rotation is clockwise. In a shaded pole motor, the reversal of direction is not possible. Okay. All the other single phase induction motor, the direction can be reversed by changing any of the winding. But here the direction of reversal is not possible. So what happens? <coughs> a flux will produce and the flux is moving from shaded portion to unshaded portion. And that means two fluxes are created, one in the shaded portion, another one in the unshaded portion. And due to these two fluxes, there is a Phase difference between these two. So, due to this phase difference, a rotating magnetic field created and the cage rotor of the shaded pole induction motor started. That is the basic concept of shaded pole motor. Okay. Now, what are the applications basically? The, from the total concept, it is easily understood that. There is no requirement of auxiliary winding, there is no requirement of capacitor or resistor or inductor, there is no additional requirement. Only a requirement of a single copper coil, copper ring, which is placed in the shaded portion. This construction itself shows us the simplicity of the motor, that means it requires very, very Place expensive elements, that means the product itself is very cheap. But definitely, we cannot compare its efficiency with the capacitor start capacitor and motor or permanent capacitor type motor. We cannot compare it because when we are adding capacitor, the extra 
फोर्स व्हिच वी आर गिविंग दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन केस ऑफ शेडेड पूल बट इन शेडेड पूल इट इज पॉसिबल टू मेक द मशीन सेल स्टार्ट दैट इज द बेसिक एडवांटेज विद लेसर अमाउंट ऑफ कॉस्ट सो डेफिनेटली दिस टाइप ऑफ मोटर कैन नॉट बी यूज्ड फॉर larger kilowatts for smaller motors like tape recorder motors relay small fans this kind of motor does not need a huge force like a capacitor type external force is not required there a small speed is sufficient so definitely for those purposes we will use a lesser capacity device so then definitely we will use this kind of induction motor Like shaded pool motor. So the basic advantage of shaded pool motor it is very very cheap, and the starting torque developed by shaded pool motor is low. Definitely, we can understand the starting torque will be low because there is no auxiliary winding, and it is started by only the difference between the two fluxes, which is created in shaded portion and unshaded portion. so definitely due to the flux our torque will be created which will be very low that is easily understood the losses are high and the power factor is low definitely when torque is low losses will be definitely more and power factor will be always low consequently the efficiency will be also low but the main factor is it is very very cheap for this reason single shaded pool single phase motors are built only for small sizes of the power rating of watt 40 watt that means very small rating motors like 40 watt motors are generally shaded pool for 40 watts if we are investing a capacitor type motor definitely that will be not sufficient because For a small motor, if I am using a capacitor, electrolytic type, or oil type, definitely the cost is the main factor. The cost will be higher, and the consumer will be not satisfied with higher price for a small device. So definitely they will want a device which will be cheap. So for that case, we will use the shaded pool motors. They are used to drive a device which requires low starting torque. they are more suitable for small devices like relay fans etc definitely these fans are not ceiling fans these fans are the smaller fans like uh, the fans used in inside of a computer or fan used for a uh, smallest device like tape recorder fans those kind of fans are used because of their low initial cost and easy start The most common applications are table fans, exhaust fan, hair dryers, fans for refrigeration, air conditioning equipments, electronic equipments, cooling fan, etc. But there is a problem. If you are using this kind of shaded pool induction motor, definitely it will be noisy. And the capacitor start motors, good quality capacitors means you will get smooth running and there will be less noise. But shaded pool induction motor it will give you noise. Okay. The price will be lower. Output will be noisy. They are also used in record players, tape recorders, slide projects, photocopying machines, in starting electric clocks, and other single phase synchronous timing motors. This is all is of the uses of. Shaded pool induction motor. That means we as we can see that there is a variety of range of single phase induction motor which we are using daily life, and in many more cases we are using shaded pool type motors. Now we will compare the single phase induction motor with three phase induction motor. This is the last topic actually in this module. We after this topic we will finish this. Chapter itself, and we will start with the newest one. So, uh, comparison between single phase and three phase induction motor. Most single phase induction motor are constructed in fractional kilowatt capacity and are used in places where three phase supply is not readily available. 
single phase motors when compared with three phase induction motors have the following disadvantages single phase motors develop 60% of the output of the three phase motor for the same size and temperature rise that means the output of single phase induction motor is just half of three phase induction motor of same size and temperature rise secondly single phase motors have lower power factor start the starting torque is low fourth single phase motors have lower efficiency single phase motors are costlier than three phase motors of the same rating however single phase induction motors are simple robust reliable and less expensive for small ratings they are used in low power drive drives in small industries and domestic and commercial applications they are generally available up to 1 kilowatt rating and for domestic purposes as our lines are single phase lines for domestic purpose we have to use the single phase motors in domestic purposes we cannot use our three phase induction motors definitely we have to use a motor which is single phase our supply is single phase so all the motors are used for daily purposes the motor used in washing machine heating fan table fan exhaust fan or uh, maybe in mixer grinder everywhere in single phase induction motor whatever motors we are using for daily purposes even hair dryer tape recorder all are single phase type induction motors so this is very important topic and uh, in electrical machine single phase induction motor is very interesting and important part to understand because this is a motor of daily life and uh, household pumps those are also single phase induction motor yeah in a vision we can say that whatever motors are generally used for domestic purposes that is single phase induction motor no doubt in it okay some of you asked that uh, what is the motor of washing machine the answer will be single phase induction motor if anyone ask you what what kind of motor used for pumps that is also single phase induction motor ceiling fan single phase induction motor whatever motors are used for daily purposes that is all single phase induction motors so up to this is for today's lecture and uh, thank you all for listening my lecture uh, i have uh, covered this total topic from the book of electrical machines as per question you can go through that book this is very important one topic of electrical machine and uh, apart from this book you can go through the nagrat kothari book of electrical machines and also ps himra book of electrical machine but for initial starting i will prefer the book for asva question and later on you can go through nagrat kothari book and also for different numerical problems you can go through the book of uh, vijit chakraborty or prithvira purotai there are lots of numerical problems to solve in these two books so not more than that for today's class thank you all thank you all for listening my lecture and that is up to this much is for your single phase induction motor and this is much about your mark out syllabus of single phase induction motor so thank you all thank you for listening my lecture